Hello again, this is another video, a short one, to look at the software we're writing to enhance the usability of our CNC mill, the MM series, the 32, which is a larger mill, and the 25L, which is a smaller version. Basically, what we've got here is we're going to do a bit of probing. Now, the probing on this, because we actually, as you can see with the automatic tool, or semi-automatic tool change we, did, we showed before, we can now probe. Now, when we probe this, we won't be adjusting the z-axis. We will be leaving that. So any um, uh, tooling or anything we've set up before will not be disturbed. So what we're going to do to start, as we've explained in previous videos, you can see that the spindle. Oops, sorry about that. The spindle is. That's a good start to the video is lined up and you can see that the probe is lined up the same way as we had when we calibrated it. So what we can do now is we can go to the probing menu. Here you can see the values that we've done here, which is when we calibrated the probe. Now when we run this routine, if it sees them as zeros, it just gives you a warning that you haven't calibrated, but you can ignore that and, and probe because you, you didn't want to calibrate or you didn't need to calibrate your, your particular probe. Again, all this stuff is kind of written here for our 3D probe. Okay, so what we can do is, if you look at where the probe is set up, you can see if you visualize basically this as the plate across here, you can see it's actually sitting in position two. So what we can do is we can actually now, of course, all our routines, you pretty much needed to, um, you know, reference a machine home, which we haven't shown, but uh, I'm sure we will do shortly. So what we can do is we can press 2. So what it does is, just again, it asked us, is, is the probe in, is in, should be, is in position, that'll be changed, ready to start, and the answer is yes. Check probe is working, which we just do by just deflecting it, and you can see it turned red there. Now what it does, it comes down at the speed, um, which is 50 millimeters at the moment, which is what we've set. So it just referenced off, so it knows um, to actually go down three millimeters below the surface. But you can see that the Z axis is, uh, the values here, they have not changed. So now it's going off and doing it. This one here is actually just finding the X and Y edge. When it's finished, it comes along and goes to zero, zero with the compensation for the probe offsets and also goes to a safe Z or Z clearance in this, we've got it termed here, and we've said three mil above the surface. I would imagine that most people would want 10 or 20 mil, but again, we've left it at three. Um, so again, this is it. Now what you're doing now is, now you actually know the coordinates and the edge of the thing. You could do any corner, corner one, you just literally just move The machine here and then you could also do the corner now you could just now run the uh, press a one on the screen here and that would actually do it but what we'll do is we'll actually just show that we can do an uh, an edge so we don't need to so we're just looking to just we're not interested we're only looking for one edge so what we can do is we can move along here And then what we can do is we can see now that that would be considered Y minus. So we could press that one. Again, it's asking us is the probe in position. I know it says is instead of in, but we will change that. And then check probe working, which we'll just do for sanity, even though we've just checked it. And then we'll go off. And again, it comes down. It doesn't do anything to change the Z axis. It just wants to know the surface so it can go down 
um, three millimeters as we've set on here where it says Z depth here is three mil and now all it's going to do basically is actually just modify the Y so we know that there is there so again it does exactly the same thing comes up three mil above it and, and zero and now we know the Y position for of, of that part I'm hoping that helps you can see here that you've got quite a few settings which we will be putting into a help guide you've got the X distance which is 15 15 you will choose tune these to your habit of uh, thing obviously the lower these values um, it you means that you have to put the probe closer to the edge obviously if they're bigger you've got a bit more clearance the depth you can go down the reason you might want to vary the depth is you might only have a part that is five millimeters thick so you don't really want to go down very deep so here you might only want to set this to two millimeters for example c distance is going to be basically something that we're going to be doing shortly we're going to be doing a center finder that hasn't been written yet but that will be done soon we're hoping um, x and y move again is uh, when it wants to again it'll be explained in the documentation is basically how far it moves when it's touched off and then what we've done here we've got the z clearance which is where it comes up and then you've got safe um z safe height which is 30 not used in this uh, because it only goes up to z clearance but you can just put these values any of these can be just changed by literally clicking on it and then spraying 20 so that would be 20 millimeters because these machines are set up in millimeters press enter and now the next time you do something it when it finishes it will go up to 20 mil above the surface hoping that explains everything and and, and is um, useful to you again thanks for watching and take care